What is going on guys? It is Albino Raven. So what I'm doing here is I'm basically going to show you guys the different models of the muzzle loader as this obviously this video is about the muzzle loader. So we've got the Caplock Luna here. The Caplock SDL, SOL, not really sure. <laughs> and the Caplock Terra. So they got a few different kind of finishes on the muzzle loader. And then we have the sights here. So I've got <clears throat> This is the muzzle loader. It's a four to eight, as you can see. You know, you'll see in the video. Even though it's eight times, it's still not that great. So, you know, but I, I do like it. It's it's good for a um, muzzle loader. You know how it is. And this is the. Nope, sorry. So that is the 50 caliber mini ball. As I said earlier, it's or I'll say later in the video. It's good for class four to eight. So we've got those, and then you have the 50 caliber round ball. So that's the type of ammo you have for it. Those are the finishes, and that's the sight you use. And through the video, you'll kind of see, you'll see the mini balls and the round balls, and you'll see which ones I like better and which ones you guys might like better as well. So here's the video. What is going on, everybody? It is Albino Raven here. And as you know, yet again, we are hunting with, uh, actually I say yet again, but this is actually the first time that I've been hunting with a muzzle loader. So, you know, I have the weapon packs obviously because I have the M1 Grand. And pretty much this is just going to be like uh, me checking out the muzzle loader, you know. I've got a few pretty cool kills in here. Pretty happy as you see smoke just flying <laughs> everywhere. But hey, that's what it's all about, right? So, that is one cool thing about the muzzle loader. So, one thing you guys could know about the muzzle loader is there's two different ammos, right? You've got the musket balls, which go from classes 3 to 7, I believe. And then you've got, no, oh, excuse us, the ambulance drives by. Oh, no, that's police. Uh, anyways, and then you have, um, I guess it's pretty much like just regular shot. Um, it's like just a regular bullet and that goes from class four to eight. So yeah, it works out pretty well. Um, I will say one thing I did love about the muzzle loader is just how freaking cool it is. I mean, I had a, I had a blast firing this thing and hunting with this thing. I found tons of kills. Almost every animal I hit, uh, it went down instantly, which that was really cool. And that was really helpful because... Sometimes, man, you just, I don't know, you just have a hard time with certain guns taking down certain animals. But, you know, one thing I will say, obviously, though, is the, I would not say the gun is overpowered. So, you cannot, um, one thing is you can't shoot, like, obviously, it takes a long time to reload. It's a single shot. So, you know, it, it takes forever. So, if you miss that first shot on an animal... You pretty much guaranteed you're not going to find that animal for a long, long time because he's going to be gone. But on the other hand, um, you can, and also you can only zero to 200. That is as far out as you'll go. And even then, I'm not sure that the scope, it's very hard to see because you can only use a certain scope and it's very difficult to see um, whenever you get that far. But. Uh, here you'll see, you know, I shot this red deer at, I'm thinking it was probably around 150 meters, close to 200. And as you see, perfect uh, right long shot, penetrated him. He's kind of small, but, you know, I'm kind of just wanting to show you guys exactly the deal. That was a weird rack on him, to be honest with you. I don't know how I really like felt about that one. But anyways, so we've got that. And, yeah, pretty much a lot of this video is going to be a lot of red deer kills, a lot of, um, uh, I say a lot, but probably a few sheep, a really cool one that I can't wait for you guys to see because I've been looking for this animal forever as a diamond. So, yeah, spoiler, there's a diamond. Now, that's a pretty nice rack, and that's a gold. I got a heart shot with him, and that was a... 203 meter shot it looks like with the the ball even so wow so yeah that was pretty much a perfect shot for one of those and there's the iberian mouflons as you can see it's about 180 out ish you know give or take 
So I will say that, you know, the the muzzle loader at its max distance, even at you know, even with all that, he uh he's pretty impressive, so I'll give him that. You know, they I love how that what they did with it. I but I do believe this is the only muzzle loader, I'm not sure, but like I said, the so this is as far in as you can zoom at that distance with the muzzle loader scope. So, you know, again, those further shots, they're going to be a little more difficult, but it's not impossible. I mean, you see, I took out I took out a mouflon with that, and they're not the biggest animals in the world, yet it still did a pretty good job, you know? I mean, I, I would say that was a pretty good shot, and it wasn't, it took him down instantly, obviously, and it wasn't too terribly difficult, so, you know, you have that going for you, of course. And so, yeah. And what I'm doing here, guys, is a lot of uh, my hunting, as you probably noticed, involves hunting around water. Pretty much almost every kill you see me do is probably going to be around water, unless it's Silver Ridge Peaks, because there's a lot of open areas there, and I go, I go crazy in Silver Ridge Peaks with that kind of stuff. But, you know, yeah, no biggie. Been seeing quite a few uh, 24 to 29 kilos females, and I actually saw one female roe deer that was 29 to 34, 35, I believe. So that was pretty cool. And he was a gold. It was a pretty good size one too. I like I like the curl in his horns. You know, I like how that it goes in, but then it kind of curls out. I've noticed some of them. Um, there's a certain one rack I've seen that kind of doesn't really do that. Like have the outer points it just kind of um i don't know what you call it but it doesn't do that so i like it and then of course my favorite animal on this map the wild boar i love hunting wild boar i want to go on a wild boar hunt so bad it's not even funny and as you can see it's this lake down here kind of the middle right um the one the lake right above the river on the north side northeast side and it's just a ton of animals. I mean, you see, I'm just peppering the crap out of it. And, oh, yeah, we got some big old honkies right here, baby. <laughs> some big honkers. I'm telling you, man. It is amazing. But, see, you'll see what I'm talking about, though. So I'm about 170-ish meters away. You know, I take this shot here. And you'll see... I, look, I go to look after the smoke clears and everything. I'm going to be like, you know, I want to take out that other deer too. And you'll notice he's not there. He is nowhere to be found. Oh, I guess I didn't show that part. But yeah, I mean, he was literally nowhere to be found. I could not. I kept looking for him. I found a bunch of female roe deers everywhere. But I kept looking for him. I did not. I could not find him until a little later, I believe, he shows himself. He might not, but I believe he did. So, yeah, we'll take a look at this guy, see, you know, exactly what it is. I've been grinding for a, oh, that's a pretty cool rack. I don't like how it's not really even, though. Well, it kind of is, I guess. Yeah, it is symmetrical. It just looks different from the other way. See, that's what I want. I want a symmetrical diamond um, red deer antlers, and I've not seen, I've never seen a nine legendary red deer on my maps, any map. Hirschfelden, any of them, but, um, so that's one thing I've been looking for. I found a mythical, and I did the, um, what is that, the multi-mount. I made a mythical red deer out of that one, but I have yet to find one that is the one I'm wanting, so, you know how that goes, and here we go. Look at that, y'all, a level five wild boar. I have been looking for one of these. There's only been one other time I've shot one. And I'll put the picture up in here. But what happened is, when I shot them, I hit with the, uh, it was a 7 millimeter, and I hit him in the freaking intestines. And I was so upset at myself. Because I had him. I had him dead to rice. DTR. And I messed up, and I was what I was doing is I saw that re that need zone back there on the map. So I looked at it, and I'm like, okay, this is probably where they're going. So I started walking over there, and I noticed uh, they're not going over here. So this must be a new herd of wild boar or something. 
So I kept looking around, kept looking around, can't find him. I'm thinking, crap, he's gone, and I've totally missed my chance. I was not happy, man. And I saw that one back there, I'm like, wait a minute, who's that? And it was like, oh, he's just a level three, nothing special. But I knew he had to be with his herd because that's the same herd. Like, those are the same ones I spotted. And I was like, okay, there's the max weight level, or one of the max weight level threes. And there he was. He's just looking at me. And I knew I had to get a good shot. That was the most important thing. It wasn't making sure I kill him. It was get a good shot. And I dropped him instantly. Perfect shot with the muzzle loader. I mean, it couldn't have gone any more beautiful, to be honest. I was so happy and so proud. Y'all, this... Ugh. I love, love, love it when these things work out like that. Because I, I mean, I didn't know if it was going to work or not. You know, I thought I took a bad shot at first, and he is a diamond. A 153.7. I was ecstatic, y'all. You have no idea how long it's taken me to find one of these and actually kill him. Those tusks look pretty freaking big, too. I'm not going to lie. I'm not sure... You know, I mean, what I really, really want more so than a wild boar is a um, warthog. Obviously, I've been dying to have a warthog, and I want one super freaking badly. But I've not found one yet. That's why I've been grinding, grinding, looking for one, looking for one. But I still have not found one. But I'm going to one day. By golly, it's going to happen. And here, obviously, I'm, I'm up here on a mountain calling uh for the roe deer i saw a really good size one so i decided i wanted to take him out i didn't know where he was i saw something moving in there but i couldn't really tell what it was looked like a it looked like a red deer but i knew that that roe deer was in here somewhere and i just kept waiting kept waiting kept looking see a level seven that was pretty cool you know just looking around I don't really like how, so I've noticed like these red deers, oh, oh, I saw him. There he is, 29 to 35 max weight male roe deer. And what I was saying, I noticed these um, like level 6, level 5 red deers, they don't really look like, like they don't really look like a red deer to me. Like their antlers look so much like an elk, it's, it's weird. And I don't know, that's just like my notice or whatever. But to me, like, I really don't like the look of these smaller rack red deer. Like, I know that's probably how they really look in red life. I don't know. They're not indigenous to where I live. So I've never seen a red deer in real life, nor will I see a red deer in real life unless they put one in a zoo over here. But it just really does not look good to me. I don't know. But I love the true racks. I love everything about them. But that, you know, that's just my opinion. But I definitely want to kill every single roe deer that I find that's max weight, which I have. And I've seen two level threes that were both max weight in the same field. And I can't remember what field it was. Otherwise, I would show you guys. And the freaking things, neither one was a diamond. They were both trolls. I was so upset because I'd never seen a level three before. Level three road deers did not exist to me as far as I was concerned because I'd never seen one. And man, it sure did show up that day though. And he was a master. So it's the caliber mind ball. That's the one that I was waiting on. I couldn't figure out what freaking um that thing was called, the bullet. But as you know, we're waiting on this uh, red deer to come back in. I saw him earlier. But I decided that I wanted to take out that max weight roe deer that I'd seen. So I was calling him in. And here we're going to drop him. Oh, good shot, I believe. Uh, let's see. Yes, it was a good shot. And he drops. So I was pretty happy with that, you know. I absolutely love making good shots with this muzzle loader. Um, if I was going to rate this muzzle loader, I would probably rate it a. Probably a 7 out of 10. I'd say it's a lot of fun to use. The only issues with it, which are not EW's issues, but let me get that straight. 
because I don't have any issue with the way EW made the model. The models look great. The um, everything looks great about it. Like I absolutely love it. I love the way they did it. Um, so yeah, there's definitely no issues there. The only thing that I would say is if you're trying to hunt a lot of stuff quickly, then the muzzle load is probably not for you. But if you're just wanting to have like an old time fun hunt, you know, where you can just chill and enjoy it and just sit back and shoot some stuff and feel like an old patriot, then by golly, this thing is for you. All right? Because you feel like freaking Mel Gibson whenever you fire this thing at an animal. <laughs> And as you see, it's got pretty good penetration, too. I mean, it was a frontal shot, and it went pretty well in there. So, you know, I'm definitely proud of it and definitely happy with it. And I believe that is a max weight uh, Ibex as well. I'm not sure. I'm not real good with the Ibex, Ibex's weight. That might not be max weight. That might be one below max weight. Because I believe there is a 110 to... 120 or 111 to 120 or something like that 110 to 119 something in there i do believe there is one of those and that is the max weight but still pretty good size you know like i said it pretty much shows you exactly what this does to every single animal on this map except for i haven't shot a southeastern with it i don't believe and i don't shoot a rabbit <laughs> but other than that i would say that it pretty well gives you an idea of what you're looking at whenever you uh shoot one of these guys so you know just kind of a little tutorial and you know hopefully you guys enjoyed this part hopefully you see it as I, I show you i try to start showing you guys where i kill these animals because i know you know a lot of people want to know that stuff so that is wrapping up this video i hope you guys enjoyed i hope you guys can like the video subscribe comment everything that you guys always do i love you guys i hope you guys want to see more of this let me know if you want to see more kind of reviews on this check like game and stuff like that and yeah i will catch you guys later keep fishing keep hunting keep praying peace